Hi there, this is Kerry Decker, and thank you for watching. We're going to be giving a short instructional video on how to print labels directly onto your CDs and DVDs. Epson printers, uh, which just personally happens to be my favorite type of uh, color printer, uh, offers an attachment for many of their printers, which allow you to print full color images and text directly onto white-faced CDs or DVDs. Now, some of these um, models that uh, allow you to do this are Epson's R280, R380, R800, and R1800. We are going to be using uh, Epson's uh, Print CD version 1.31a. So uh, let's go over to the printer now and I'm going to show you how to print directly on to your CDs and DVDs with a really nice system. Here we go. Okay, here we are at uh, my printer. And uh, I recommend that you make all the adjustments, the physical adjustments, on the printer before you turn it on. Now what we have to do on this uh, Model R1800 printer is to open up the front section first to allow the print tray, which is a special CD DVD print tray, to go into the machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to slightly open up the lid and inside, here on the right hand side, is a little area where you push and it makes this front area come down. The tray drops and everything comes down. Again, release your top and this will allow you this special print tray to go in and allows it to print the CD. And what we can do now is turn on the printer and uh, get it ready to go. Alrighty, here we go. So we're going to click on the icon so we can begin to uh, set up our print. Okay, here is what the screen first looks like when you click on it and it shows you the CD that you're going to print. Now one thing which is very interesting and uh, you must do is uh, set up the center hole size. Alright, so we're going to go under File, click it, and down to the inner and outer diameter settings. That's uh, very important. We're going to click on that and you'll see this screen. Okay, the most important two are going to be these uh, bottom two right here. The custom CD, which has the 20 millimeter opening, is for the small hole. It will allow the printer to make a uh, print on the small opening. If you click on the 12 centimeter CD and DVD, you'll notice that it just changed to the 43 millimeter size, which is the large hole. Okay, we're going to click OK and we're going to be set to go. I have already made up the graphics for this, so we're going to click on the folder, which opens it up. Okay, on the left here is a list of all the different uh, artwork which I've put together, and I'm going to click on Carrie's Kitchen. And there you'll see the picture which uh, I made for that, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. And there it is, all set to be printed. I've got my artwork and pictures and my text all set up and we're now ready to do the printing. So what we're going to do is to click on the printer icon which is visible in the upper left hand corner. Before you begin printing you have to uh, look for this plastic tray which is an accessory which does come with the printer which uh, will hold your CD or DVD as you can see uh, by this center area and also there's some graphics here which explains what to do again I found these kind of confusing the first time around and that's one of the reasons I wanted to make this video okay we've got the white plastic uh, CD or DVD that you want to print it's the white faced uh, disc and we're going to place that right in the hole it just kind of fits in there kind of snugly and it's great we're going to put these two arrows this is going to go first into the printer and we're going to align it with these little white arrows on the side. Okay, here is the front of the printer with the front drop down as we did before. The only change I did to my printer is the little arrows that are going to be lined up uh, here on the printer are just etched into the machine. They're kind of difficult to see. So what I did was I took a, a black marker and uh, kind of 
wrote over them so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Here's a close-up of those little marks and uh, it makes it much easier to see if you mark it with a black ink pen. Okay, we're going to slide in the tray. It goes underneath the little lip that's on uh, each side here and you're going to slide it right in and line up the white dots along with your dots which uh, you have drawn in on the uh, printer itself. Now we're, lo we're aligning the arrow that's uh, on the tray along with the little uh, arrow that's on the printer. Now I had to outline these in black with a with a marker because it was just merely etched into the plastic and it really made it kind of difficult to see from a distance. So I remarked these so I can find it much easier and uh, it makes it much simpler to line up. I've got my artwork and pictures and my text all set up and we're now ready to do the printing. So what we're going to do is to click on the printer icon which is visible in the upper left hand corner. Okay, this little uh, screen is reminding you that uh, you're going to need to dry your discs about 24 hours before you put them into your DVD player. So you click OK and the print process is now ready to start. One of the things I happened to notice right away was after I uh, clicked on the, um, the printer OK button on the screen that nothing happened. And I happened to look back at my printer and I noticed that the little red light up here, the manual feed light, was on. And that's what you have to do before uh, the machine will start to print. So what we're going to do is touch this little button and of course this manual tray will start to go in and our printing process will begin. Here we go. Push the button. And now our loaded disc will start to move. You can hear the inks and everything uh, getting adjusted in there. It takes just a moment. Tray starts going in and out. I think it's uh, lining to make sure of what type of disc is in there. Okay, back out it's starting to come. Goes back in again. And the printing process should begin. I can hear the print heads going back and forth in there and the tray along with your CD or DVD is slowly starting to come out. There we go. And we're now printing up the Curry's Kitchen DVD. Makes for a very, very nice print. Uh, Epson has done a great job with this. And uh, you can get uh, an exceptional looking disc. And of course one where no paper labels will ever peel off. And uh, makes for a very professional job whether you're printing just text or if you are printing uh, photos along with it. And it's almost done. It's coming out. There it is. Yep, the print heads go back into retraction. You pull it out just a little bit more, and there's a little finger slot right here on the sides, and you can pick it out. And there you have your professionally printed disc, in this case, my Carrie's Kitchen uh, DVD with the information that I have right on it. And uh, it is all set to use or to send out, and uh, it really does a great job. Uh, there you go. Again, there's no, no label to come loose or anything, and it's all printed right on the face of your DVD. Okay, now to clean it up, all we have to do is just pull out the tray, and you're all set to go. I push the off button down here to turn my printer off, like that, and everything, print heads retract and everything and then all you have to do is just push up the lid pulling, pulling this up a little bit to fit back in and everything is all set to go and you're all finished and uh, you're done printing for this session of printing on your the face of your DVD or CD labels